Welcome back to our four-part series where we are teaching you how to spread the love by modeling a rose using SolidWorks surface tools. We've modeled the first few layers of our rosebud, so let's keep adding on using another sweep option. Sketch on the right plane and we'll draw the next petal's profile as an S-curve that hugs this existing outer petal using the spline tool. and I'll create a curled top using an arc, setting a tangent relation between it and the spline. And that looks pretty good there. Now on the top plane, I'll sketch the sweep path using a few spline tools. And I'm going to make this spline very organic looking. Exit the sketch and enter the Swept Surface tool in the Surfaces Command Manager. First, select the Petals Profile, and then select the Path Sketch. Now notice in the preview only half of the sweep is showing. Because our profile lies in the middle of our Path Sketch, we must use the Bidirectional Sweep option to get the full sweep we are after. And there you go. Now just like we taught you in part one of this series, I'm going to use a spline on surfaces 3D sketch and sweep a trimming surface to make this petal organic looking. But first, notice this surface is actually made up of two different surfaces. Just as in part one of the series, we can fix this by using the fit spline tool in the path sketch to make it a single spline. Okay, I'll create my 3D sketch and trim this petal. I'll see you on the other side. Now with our petal trimmed, I want to make this look even more organic by curling the outer edge a bit. Rather than create another swept surface along the edge, I can cheat it a bit using a fillet. First, let's thicken this surface 0.02 inches outwards. and I'll apply a 0.01 inch fillet along this inner edge. Now I'll use the delete face tool found in the command manager and delete the faces I don't want to thicken. So here we have a nice little curl around the edge of this petal, and I can thicken it 0 0.003 inches in each direction, just as I did the other petals. I'm going to use these exact same techniques to begin modeling the next layer of petals. With the first of our next layer of petals modeled, let's create a circular pattern of this petal. First, let's create a reference axis for us to pattern around. Under Reference Geometry, select Axis, use the Two Planes option, and select the front plane and the right plane to create an axis that goes through the center of the rosebud. Now to create a circular pattern, navigate to the Features tab in the Command Manager and select the drop-down under Linear Pattern. Here you will see the Circular Pattern tool. Within the tool, first select the axis to pattern around, and then the feature, face, or body you'd like to pattern. In this case, this outer petal body. 
we're going to pattern this equally spaced around 360 degrees three times. Now let's take a look at making a more random pattern with this next layer of petals. This petal was modeled just like the others with the swept surface, trim surface, and thickened tools. Again, create a circular pattern around the reference axis we created. We will create six instances of this petal, but we will take advantage of this instances to skip option and in the workspace, select which petals we don't want to create. This helps create a more random, organic look. Use the techniques you've learned in this part of the series to add on additional layers of petals, experimenting with 3D sketching, trimmed surfaces, and patterning to give the completed rosebud an organic look as shown here. With our rosebud complete, stay tuned for part three of the series, where we will use a few more surface tools to model the rose's calyx and stem.